So part of the approach for us as educators in this area of ADHD is how to tailor the educational needs of these different identifiers. The therapists and the physicians, that's what we're doing here today. For teachers, employers, and friends, there's, there's public awareness. And then for parents, families, and spouse members, we try to, get through the, try to get to these people through word of mouth since this is a highly heritable disorder with 75% of the cause being attributed to genes. If you have a child with ADHD, the likelihood that one of the parents has it is 30 to 40%. So we now have trained the pediatricians to identify the children and then turn to the parents and say, which one of you sounds like you have this? Because if you treat just the child and come up with a behavioral program and then you wonder why it doesn't work, if mom has ADHD, she won't be able to institute the behavioral program. And one of the annoyances of my non-ADHD mother we used to complain that dad could never keep her child on task. I told him I need him to supervise while I went out to get groceries, please get him to do the task. And she would come home and the kid was on the computer and dad was watching TV. Why was that? Because dad had ADHD and he couldn't stay on the homework assignment any longer than the kid could. Until you identify the parent in the household, behavioral programs are not going to be effective.